Hey guys, Backyard Scientist here. Ever since I poured molten salt into a fish tank and it exploded, I was wondering what else can we blow up with it? So I've got a wheelbarrow full of fruit behind me. Let's see what I can blow up with molten salt. All right, so we've got coconuts, watermelons, and I think let's start with the coconut. And they're filled with coconut water. So the molten salt should go right in here react with the coconut water and blast the thing apart. Let's see if it's that strong. Can you see it in there? Oh, yep, there it is. It's funny, I'm, the label says, do not drink directly from coconut. I wonder why. So we made a 360 degree spinning platform, so this will be a cool view also. Let's get started. So I'm using the same salt I did last time, just plain coarse Morton salt, and I load it up into my stainless steel crucible and fire up my furnace. It takes about 10 minutes for the table salt to melt at around 1300 degrees Fahrenheit. After that, I load it into my very high-tech pouring device, and uh, there it's molten. I'm improvising here. All right, here we go, I'm gonna shut up. Well, that definitely exploded, but I, uh, I wouldn't say it cracked the coconut. Maybe let's try again. One. Holy cow! That was way bigger of an explosion than I thought. The cops are probably on their way. All right, time to check out the high speed. This is exactly what I was hoping would happen. This explosion was definitely as powerful as the stuff that was happening during the fish tank explosions, and it felt like three M80s going off at once. You want some coconut? You can have it as a hat. So that was completely unexpected. That coconut literally vaporized on contact with the molten salt. So I think we're gonna need to do some more tests. All right, next up is watermelon, and this is definitely probably the biggest watermelon I've ever seen. So this should be good. You want some watermelon? All right, same procedure as before. Heat up the salt, put it into my safety stick, and stand back in three, two, one. Nice! That was sweet. Three, two, one. Oh, I hit my GoPro. That works out pretty well. So uh, it definitely exploded that watermelon. So I'd say that was a success. Not as crazy as a coconut though, that thing was a bomb. <laughs> we got one more, let's do this one in slow motion. In three, two, one. Ah. Man, I sure do miss having that phantom high-speed camera, but I think you can still see just how powerful this explosion is. It explodes in fractions of a second. I mean, this is a thousand frames per second and it's still blown apart the yard. This is all molten salt. Not a lot, but man, it kind of, kind of a little bit unpleasant. That watermelon was $10. So I'd say that that experiment was a success. The watermelon was basically vaporized and the coconut was turned into a hand grenade by the molten salt. There was shrapnel going all over the yard and I'm 
Luckily, I'm still here, but that's because I'm protected by my safety Hawaiian t-shirt. Anyway, I think molten salt is the new molten aluminum, so if you have any cool ideas, leave them down below in the comment section, and I'll see you next time. Bye.